what if I told you on October 22nd, 2019, that Bailiff is Fighter 5 in the first Challenger pack for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? And then after, basically right after, tweeted out that Crash comes directly after the first Challenger pack. What is up, guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today we're going to talk about this Super Smash Bros. Ultimate leak slash rumor that has a little bit of truth to it that is getting a lot of people speculating that this may be true now first and foremost the source of this is coming from a random twitter account that its first tweet from what i can see was this tweet about bailiff joining smash on october 22nd 2019 that was last year basically predicting that this fire emblem character was going to come to smash now granted fire emblem three houses was already out and also it was huge at the time last year everything everybody on the nintendo switch was playing fire emblem three houses i was not one of them but a lot of people were and during that time if you would have said that hey a character from fire emblem three houses was going to be part of the smash dlc and be a fighter inside of super smash Bros. ultimate no one would have probably batted an eye they would have been like okay it's not the character we want okay whatever however jump forward to 2020 first direct the first the second direct of the year which is the smash direct reveals the character the internet goes insane. You got a ton of Smash fans. Kind of disappointed that we got another Fire Emblem character. However, it does look cool, but kind of disappointed at the same time. A week or two later, people are noticing that this tweet by Manny Can was sent out on October 22nd, basically predicting that fighter. Now, again, Anybody could have predicted the fighter. That's why I say take this with a grain of salt. But the thing that makes this very interesting is that right after it says Crash comes directly after the first Challenger pack, which gets a person like me excited because I'm a PlayStation fanboy. Yes, and I'm also a Nintendo fanboy. So when you mix the two, of course, I'm getting happy. I like the idea Crash could potentially come to Smash. It doesn't sound too far-fetched in my idea. Crash has seen its way and made its way on the Nintendo Switch with the Crash and Sing trilogy as well as CTR, as well as Crash does have history on Nintendo consoles in the past with appearances on the GBA. And I believe the GameCube, I could be wrong, but I believe the um, Twin Sanity came out on GameCube as well. It came out on GameCube and maybe Xbox and PlayStation 2. I could be wrong about that. Let me know in the comment section below. But it's just the thought of a Crash Bandicoot appearing in Smash, which is insane because to the public eye, Crash is like putting Master Chief inside of Smash because it's just, it's Sony's boy. This is Sony's baby. Granted, it wasn't created by Sony. It was just published on their consoles at first as an exclusive. But still, everybody knows Crash Bandicoot being the Sony mascot. Granted, it's not that today. It's more so, uh, you know, universally loved on every platform. You go pick up the Crash and Sing trilogy on Xbox, on PC, on the Nintendo Switch. So it does. It's not really connected and rooted into the PlayStation as the PlayStation mascot today. But if you ask anybody, Crash Bandicoot. They're going to say, oh, that's that's Sony, that's PlayStation. And that's why I think this is a big deal. And that's why I'm, I'm basically making this video, because I want to hear from you guys. Do you think this is true? Let's do some more digging. There are other tweets made by this Twitter account. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts. Do you think that Crash is going to be the first character to be announced for Challenger Pack 2? Because if he is... Just know that the fucking world is going to turn upside down because that's going to be insane. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, I do videos like this all the time, basically discussion videos where I want to interact with you guys. So again, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop one of these videos. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. And woo, please bring the bandicoot to Budica. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok, or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also, on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.